you talked about how you've seen CEOs get hit with a cocktail. Yeah. And a cocktail is a mix of feces, urine, semen, and blood. Yeah. It's interesting because I had, you know, one of my regular guests on the show, Rico Reckless, he called it a Glock Dookie. This was, uh, you know, in Cook County uh, Jail in Chicago, where basically they make these, not really guns, but something that was like a projectile type of weapon where they would put feces and sperm and blood, whatever, and shoot people with it. You know, dookie guns, all types of that shit. Bitch. What Glock dookies in that bitch? Oh. Motherfucker, pull up on your ass with a Glock dookie, rob okay, you. Dookie Glock seven. dookie in front of Gray's toothpaste. That bitch got shit in it, piss in it, nut in it, shaving cream, all type of shit. What the fuck? Walk up on your ass with that bitch. What? Move right now. Spray the bitch in your face. You, you don't want this shit. Don't, you, you, you getting robbed. Wait, 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 wait. You telling me they, they make guns? Glock dookies. AK seven. Glock dookie with a switch on that bitch. Nigga, they don't fucking put shit, piss, nut. What's a switch? So you could actually fire it? It's a little. I don't know what to say. Right, I went to switch on, but that's your nigga uh, uh, just uh, get a bigger tube and squeeze it faster <laughs> and, and call it a switch. I switch on that motherfucker. But niggas in that bitch, like nigga walk. Now just imagine this though. You would, like it's like you got a chuck, so you would be yeah. your chuck. Nigga walk to your chuck. Glock Dookie. Man, don't move right now. I'm from the grave. Get all, all that shit up. Enough. Get all that food up right now. Now you caught. Like you caught that bitch in your face. Like you finna get shit nut. What the fuck are you? Eh, for all this was going, man, get that shit up, bitch. Get that shit up right now. Take too long, motherfucker. What? I'm gonna, 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 gonna spray you with that bitch. You did that for like you're dead for real, motherfucker. You, you wanna die? You smell like listen. shit. You, you wanna, wanna die? And you've seen this happen. They would um they would use shampoo bottles. So you can squeeze the shampoo bottle and it'll come out. Uh inmates will also that's considered that's called gassing. If you gas somebody, inmates will also gas other inmates. And um yeah, it's gross. It's gross. You, you, the feces gets everywhere. You smell it. It stinks up the whole unit. It's gross. Uh, not to mention the... Not to mention the possibilities to contract a disease or infection. Right, because you said a lot of the inmates are HIV positive. HIV, hepatitis C, yeah. Right. Well, one of the things that, that Rico Reckless and, and, and his, you know, his partner, Ewal Samo, talked about in Cook County Jail is they would knock out inmates, pull their pants down, and spit in their butt because then that would be human material in someone's cavity and it would have to be reported as a rape. And then that person would then have to go to the, to the doctors and then the family would have to be told that they were raped and so forth. They in Cook County Jail getting savage life. Phone up. They getting that savage life. Now, Real ask savage. who want to ask for Which one of you motherfuckers want to ask for savage what, life? What's savage know? life? Well, I don't know where this gay shit started from, but this was going on. In Chicago, Cook County Jail, they will knock you the fuck out. Cold. Knock when you, you out when cold. you hit that ground, you would hit this. Get, get that, that butt! <laughs> Motherfucker, get that. Nah, the nigga that's fighting to be, get the butt. <laughs> Motherfucker gone. <laughs> Pull your pants down. Pull your drawers down. Open up your ass it's and spin spit. your ass. And now your ass a bitch. Six up people line up It'll to be come spin your ass. Spin, niggas are spinning your ass. A nigga will grab a motherfucking soap. You got to choke your ass out, nigga. Six nigga, different you got Killed in this bitch. Your ass a bitch. Now in the whole jail, I know it's going around. Man, folks got his ass spit in. Disclaimer. Niggas we are putting ketchup, that. I wasn't doing mustard that. in your ass. I wasn't involved in that shit. Eat flame hot. I wasn't doing that knock shit. Knock you out. Spin your ass. I, just, I saw on. niggas getting their ass spin in in that bitch. Boy, you especially up it. in the trenches. That shit fucked you up. Trenches. That shit fucked in your ass, That's boys. That's the dungeon. Life. I mean, y'all finna think I'm making this shit up. You know man, anybody you in know, Cook County know, Jail. Bro. If you know, you know. If they getting that savage life in that bitch. That, don't, don't hit that ground before I'm going to get that butt, boy. I'm from the grave. That so shit. I'm going no deck with your ops. All right. All right. All right. They're going to jump you and get that butt. Get that, your, your butt getting got. Boy, you, boy that, that's like getting killed. That's like, in, like it's you over. You can't come back from getting your ass spit in, black. It's over. Like the whole jail going to like, you're going to have to kill yourself in that bitch. You're going to have to kill that person that did. Like it's going to get that real. That's like, the only way you can get back. So, I, so it's not even I rape. Old, it's actually spitting in the ass. I saw yeah, old, I saw old But this is the nigga. thing. Anytime there's, there's bodily it. fluid, and the crevices of your body, they have to call your family. So that's the whole point of them Boy, doing it. Oh. Now they gotta call your people and administer a rape kit on you. Yeah. You have oh. to administer a rape kit. Boy, that's the whole some, point. Because they that's have the point. Rape kit. So when you call your family and uh, your mama pick up like, man, he, a rape kit, what y'all put a rape kit on? Sexual assault. Have you ever heard of something like this before? I never heard of that. That's the first time I ever heard of that. 
Yeah, it was pretty insane when they uh, when they described that. I mean, you don't have to really spit in somebody's butt to allege that they were raped. You could just make the allegation. No, but I'm saying, but they, they actually would have to go and test them and, and everything else like that. Well, we test them regard. I mean, a simple allegation saying, hey, I got raped, you go and you test them. Like, that's well, how California... Well, the person is. didn't really get raped is the person who did it to them wants to make it look like they got raped. <laughs> it's really a very twisted mentality. It's like a, it's like a sick prank. It's like a sick prank. <laughs> yeah. I mean, have you seen that type of thing, though, where prisoners get knocked out and then violated when they're unconscious and so forth, or...? Uh, drunk inmates. Well, one time, a long time ago in Sentinel State Prison in, in Adsig, you know, the whole A5, you had two, two inmates that got drunk and it was GP. And, uh, apparently they got into a cell fight because that's what drew our attention. And I mean, there was shit all over their boxers and there was shit all over like the cell. So it's like, we're assuming they got drunk and one of them tried to fuck the other one and, uh, <laughs> the rest wow. is history yeah 